All right, today we're going to do a quick review of the uh, latest, or one of the latest uh, offerings by Leatherman, the Raptor. And uh, at first glance, it's just a glorified pair of uh, EMT shears. And, uh, uh, but when we look at it a little bit deeper, you can see that while it's, uh, one of its functions is as a pair of shears, it actually does a lot more. And it's a good piece of kit um, certainly, if you're involved in the medical professions, uh, EMT, rescue, uh, search and rescue, that sort of thing, a uh, good piece of kit for that. Um, there's a real trend lately to, uh, in the tactical community to uh, be prepared to deal with trauma. Um, so you see a lot of tourniquets and Israeli bandages and quick clot and that sort of thing, people having small kits um, to take care of uh, serious trauma. So this would appeal to them also. Um, removing it from its very nice uh, plastic case, you see there's a belt clip which helps clip into the case, but if you don't want to carry the case, this can be clipped onto your Molly gear or onto your belt if you want to go a little bit more minimum. Um, before we open it, the first thing we come to is this rescue hook, which can be used um, for cutting seat belts, whether on yourself or somebody else. Uh, can also be used for cutting clothes. Once you have a first opening in you know, a, a sleeve or a, le um, a, a leg, uh, you get that in there and it will rip the cloth pretty nicely also. It is a locking uh, blade, so it will not collapse until you push in the liner lock. Pulling it open, now we have the um, shape we recognize, the EMT shears. They're certainly a lot more substantial. They're thicker. They're much better built. They're locked together in the open position. Not together, but in the open position. So to close them, you have to push a triangular button here, triangular button on the other side, and now we can put it away. There is a carbide bit here, once again on the, uh, the, the rescue front, if you need to break a piece of glass uh, to get out of your own car, or if you need to get into somebody else's car to get to them to render aid or get them out, we do have the glass breaker. And we do have a place for a lanyard also. So having a dummy cord on a piece of equipment like this is a good idea so you don't drop it um, and it you know, ends up down a cliff 100 feet away from you. It also has a, kind of an interesting feature here, which is a ring cutter. And so you've got kind of the, um, the anvil on this side, and you've got the cutter on this side. And if somebody's hurt their hand and starts swelling up, and they've got a ring on, that can cause serious issues. Um, you know, you've got uh, blood restriction problems um, that can actually start uh, um, c causing serious secondary issues beyond the initial um, injury. So if you stick the ring through here and then just push down, it will clip the ring very neatly. Let's see how well it cuts. Of course, paper's no issue. I've got, I've taped my two fingers together just for a demo and it is a very thick blade, and that's good for strength, but I'm finding it's a little tight to get in here. So sometimes thick isn't all, isn't the best thing. But it's cutting this tape very nicely, not an issue. The anvil part of this blade is very finely grooved. So whatever material is on here is going to stay on here and be held in tight position for the cutting blade. So a very capable, sturdy piece of equipment for those that are doing active uh, things. This would be good if you're doing whitewater rafting. Um, this would be good if you're uh, doing um, off-roading. Uh, maybe even car racing where you may need to get out of your vehicle you've got the the, um, the rescue hook you've got the glass cutter um, of course you do have the, uh, the the EMT shear section also so uh, Leatherman Raptor 
good piece of gear. I just recently received it and haven't had a uh, chance to give it a real workout, but I'll, um, I'll give another review of after I've had a chance to use it a bit more. But so far, it looks solid. Um, the, uh, the sheath is pretty nice also. Um, they've been very clever in, you know, obviously this would go on a belt, uh, clip it to, you know, just your pants or any number of other things. But what they've done is they've separated these two legs so that it will go into molly webbing very nicely. If they were um, connected, you wouldn't be able to put it into molly webbing. So that was nice. And if you loosen this screw, um, the sheath part of this will pivot 180 degrees or 360 degrees around this so you can set it up so that it's at whatever angle you like on your gear. Leatherman Raptor, looks like a good piece of gear. I'm Peter Burlingame of the Self-Defense Initiative. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there. Please subscribe and tell your friends about us. Thanks.